Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Origin Cats video. Now today, I'm going to be getting in with another story time for you. You know, and it's pretty perfect because it's a school story. And as you know, it is getting that back to school type time. Now in the background, I'm going to be playing some Roblox obbies. Um, so, yeah. So basically, this happened eh, quite a while ago actually. Probably third grade. And, um... So, in third grade, my teacher, I we had a sub for a while, because my teacher just had a kid, and she was on that thing where if you just had a kid, you didn't have to go to work for a while. I don't remember what it's called. Um, so, this teacher that we had couldn't really control the class that well. Like, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but they didn't really know how to control the class or anything and it was kind of just wild and everything was like going out of plan and stuff so there was this girl who sat next to me we'll call her Avery Avery was I think a year younger than the rest of the class I think she got actually moved up in kindergarten to first grade so she was smarter but here's the problem. She was really smart for a kindergartner. Problem is, we weren't in kindergarten anymore. So you could tell she was not ready for the level that we were at. She was constantly asking me questions and a bunch of other things. And she sat right next to me and she was younger than me. So I was like, okay, I'll help her. Well, then the question started from, hey, how do you do this math problem, to, hey, give me the answer to this math problem. And basically what I told her is I said, I will help you do the math problem, but I'm not going to give you just the answer. And you might think that kind of sounds like a Karen or something like that, but I truly thought I was trying to, I was truly trying to help her out with this, and you don't really learn from just getting the answer. So, I also kind of thought maybe if I helped her out with this, she'd figure out how to do it herself, and I wouldn't always have to constantly help her. So, you know, that's just, you know, and I know that sounds rude, but, like, I had work to do. I did not want to spend all of my work time helping this girl that, like, didn't pay enough ten attention in class and, like, I thought she was some super gifted kid, too, at the time, so I thought, like, I didn't know she was just, like, not as good as she once was. I thought she was just trying to get the answers out of me. So I started getting really annoyed at this girl, because she was supposed to be the super smart one that knew all the answers and stuff, but she was constantly asking me for help. And, you know, I'm not a star student, but, like... I won't get a grade anything below a B, so I won't get all the hundreds, but I can, I'm an average student, so I was good enough to help her, and, you know, I kept explaining to her, and this was with all subjects, like science, social studies, math, English, like, hey, like, I can't help you, like, or I can't just give you the answer, like, I'm, you know what I was thinking, I didn't say this, but I was like, I'm already nice enough to actually help you and use my work time. So, yeah. But then, I started getting in trouble for talking with the sub. And it was kind of stupid, because literally everybody else was talking. Um, but, it was only, so we had the same sub every single day, by the way. But it was, so literally everybody else was talking, except for like, I was talking, yes, but I was talking to help. They were just having full-on conversations. So I was getting pretty angry and aggravated. I was like, uh, I'm wasting, or basically wasting my time helping this girl because all she wants is the answer and she's not actually listening to me. So... You know, I, I was just like, man, you know, like, I told her, hey, I'd really appreciate it. Like, I literally told the girl this because I was getting pretty fed up. I said, hey, I'd really, really appreciate it if you started maybe trying a little bit before you ask me because I am getting in trouble for helping you. And, of course, I am willing to help you, 
but I don't really want to get in trouble when I know you are capable of doing this. And she got super duper offended and was like, all totally angry, totally mad, like, oh my gosh, you should be helping me, I'm younger than you, you know, like, total Karen mode. And, um, so, I didn't really know what to do. So, I just, like, um, I was just like, okay, you know, like, I, I guess I can help you, you know, like, I, I didn't know what to do, I didn't know what to say, so, at this point, I kind of just accepted the fact that I had to help this girl for the rest of the school year, until my real teacher came back, at least, and, you know, like, I was not looking forward to it in any way, shape, or form, but I didn't know what to do, so... I kept helping her, and I kept getting in trouble, and it was really, really aggravating, because I, I was like, what am I going to do, you know, like, I don't want to snitch, because I'm not a snitch, so, yeah, I basically just, I just kept helping her, and I kept getting in trouble, and what aggravated me most about it is the fact that she was talking to, and she wouldn't even get in trouble, like, this sub had it out for me. So, you know, I, I kind of just was like, okay, you know, um, whatever. And, um, I was really, really, like, getting frustrated. So, eventually, I just explained it to the sub. I said, hey, this is what's going on. I'm not really, like, maybe, like, can you put her at a different table or or, not a table, a different desk, or, like, can you maybe, like, tell her that it's okay to ask you for help on assignments and stuff? And, you know what the sub said to me? The sub thought I was making up excuses for all the times I've gotten in trouble. So, I was like, I, at this point, I was like, what? Are you being serious? Like, what am I supposed to do? If I don't help this kid, she's gonna get me in trouble and go full Karen on me, but if I do help this kid, I get in trouble, so, you know, like, the sub won't even believe me, so I told my mom about it, she emailed the principal, the principal was like, okay, if what you're telling me is true, that's pretty messed up, so, the principal talked to me and the sub, and basically what we came to an agreement as is that she's going to be observing me and I think I called her Avery. So she was going to be observing me and Avery during work time secretly to see if Avery was actually asking all the questions and doing everything she was doing. Well, she handed out a math paper. And of course, Avery turned over to me and said, hey, can you help me with this? And I said, okay, or no, she didn't say, hey, can you help me with this? She said, hey, can you give me the answer? And I said, I can help you with it, but I'm not just giving you the answer. So, I was just like, I was helping her out with it, and she was very visibly not looking at it. So what I did is I said... Instead of doing a normal problem, we're going to do a practice problem before we do it. So we can see if you're actually paying attention to what I'm saying. So this is what I said to her. So I said, here's the practice problem. You're going to do this real quick. Because I showed her another practice problem. Then I said, you're going to do this practice problem because I just helped you with it. And if you get it right, then I'll give you the answer. And she was like, what? You know, like she was so like oh no, I I don't know how to do this, and like, I was just giving her the answer right after I explained it to her, so now I, we both caught her, me and the sub, and the sub came over and said, hey, uh, Avery, can I go talk to you out in the hall, um, and Avery, like, I wish you guys could have seen her face, it was just like, a shock, like, terror, face I'll try to put up a picture of what it might have looked like um so you know like 
I was, I, I kind of wanted to laugh, but I also didn't. And then, at that point on, Avery actually had to move her desk right next to the subs desk. And it was really embarrassing for her. But also, I thought, you know what? Like, I honestly thought that might have been the best for her. Because at this point, she can be right there to ask questions. So, you know, it, it worked out perfectly. Avery doesn't bother me anymore. She can ask all the questions. She can just annoy the sub. It was perfect. Um, so, yeah, that's my little story about how... The sub didn't believe me that this girl was being super annoying. I do apologize for not uploading recently. I've made a lot of videos, but I just keep, like, finding a lot of mistakes with them. So, I do apologize for that. Um, I do, I am going to thank you all, guys, for 43 subscribers. That is absolutely amazing. I've never once gotten that many subscribers. You know, like... A couple months ago, like, when I looked at somebody with 43 subscribers, I was like, oh, wow, they actually, like, if my friend had a YouTube channel or somebody I knew from school had a YouTube channel and I looked and they had 43 subscribers, I was like, oh, wow, they actually have a pretty good amount of subscribers. And now, um, I'm the person that I have the pretty good amount of subscribers. So that is absolutely amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for that. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed. Bye, guys.